Jones, how are you gonna find that statue and all this junk? Poor Marcus. He thought this was a Maasai warrior. It's a medieval gargoyle, or a good imitation. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. It's a genuine candlestick. a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's some kind of funeral urn. The label says, Unidentified Pot Shirts. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Looks like textiles from the Shamit Collection. I don't need them, they're just textbooks. I've done enough climbing today. I think I've read them all. It's an old lecture hall desk. There's nothing of importance here. There's nothing of importance here. These books don't look familiar. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Better get that roof checked. It's a book ready to fall. Looks pretty slippery. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. hot. A fine sample of bitumen. It's too slippery to walk up. I'm not leaving without that statue.
I'll be. Here's what I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith? Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is fate? He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good Lord, Indy, the man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. What is the spy one for the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant, a spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. But where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. Indy, Kerner found you. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. 